Honorable Minister of Health, uh, Dr. Daniel Ngamije, Professor Jacques Marisco, Mrs. Alice uh, Marisco, distinguished members of the business community, esteemed guests, good evening. Et bonsoir, chers amis. I'm sincerely pleased to be here with you tonight. I hope you will understand if I occasionally address you all in uh, Dr. Marisco's uh, native French. While his English is flawless, his family's contributions to modern medicine are worthy of hospitality the world over. Tonight, we dine among innovative CEOs, dedicated dignitaries, diligent scientists and experts, networking with the true go-getters that strive for improved welfare of our nation. And tonight, most importantly, honorable guests, we put our hearts and our resources together to support IRCAD Africa in its noble mission. To the friends of Rwanda who have understood the necessity of establishing a state-of-the-art medical hub on our continent, welcome to Kigali, and welcome to the land of uh, Thousand Hills. We hope that our city will be as hospitable to you, dear friends, as you have been committed to us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm touched by the optimism and the determination perceivable tonight. After all, there is a great cause for enthusiasm that IRCAD Africa should find a home in Rwanda might have been a no-brainer. As uh, Dr. Guillaume Marisco, Vice President of IRCAD Africa has graciously stated, but it's a great pleasure nonetheless. For one, becoming a medical hub is for Rwanda an estimable destiny that we will gladly attain with the help of Friends of Rwanda and in reaching cross-sector partnerships. May we walk hand in hand, dear guests, along this path to safe and affordable access to expert surgical treatments for all Africans. If I had one, not that I'm looking forward to having one, I would raise my glass to everyone present tonight, for history has shown that the training of medical staff is not just a noble cause, it is a crucial one. I, I also believe necessary to commend the progress of the government, the construction of uh, the IRCAD Africa Center's new home in Masaka, a construction led by the government of Rwanda in support of this fantastic enterprise. To watch, to watch in real time as the walls of uh, this medical center of excellence rise from our soil has been a truly gratifying experience. Honorable guests, there is a little I could teach you about the benefits of uh, minimally invasive surgery for experts in the field have graced us with their presence tonight. The evidence in favor of minimally invasive surgical treatments for a variety of afflictions, ranging from a tumor, removal to heart surgery, has grown in pertinence for decades. How can we tackle our growing population's need for appropriate medical treatments for diseases old and new and affliction minor and great? How can we reduce the death tolls reported by our hospitals following surgery from the tragic numbers they stand at to an unheard of? Minimally invasive surgery is an answer to both these questions. It serves as a, a safer, more precise, and less burdening means of conducting a variety of surgeries, many of which are life-changing, life-saving, and critically time-saving. By reducing the risk of surgical procedures while uh, maximizing their effectiveness, 
we diminish the devastating powers of a multitude of diseases that eat at the lives of millions of adults and children every year. Professor Marisco, cher Nchuti, je vous remercie de réitérer l'importance de l'innovation et du progrès technologique de la poursuite de nouvelles connaissances et de nouveaux outils dans la construction de systèmes de santé résilients à travers cette noble initiative. La collaboration entre IRCAD et de prestigieuses universités locales telles que notre University Carnegie Mellon, CMU Afrique, et notre Institut africain pour les sciences mathématiques, IMS, démontre l'étendue de votre vision. We look forward to witnessing IRCAD Africa, your promising impact on the progress of uh, surgical medicine on our continent. <laughs> Honorable dignitaries, on a slightly different note, I wish to point that uh, investment in Africa is not charity. Investing in Africa's development is rational and wise. Our future in terms of uh, education, economic advancement, and as we gather here tonight, to consider specifically our health sector grows brighter by the second with every investment in our welfare. This one investment, dear IRCAD, bears value beyond the immediate services that will be offered. Access to medical tourism on the African continent is for some being granted a second chance at a healthy life that sometimes costly visa requirements and lengthy flights could have compromised. How pioneering and forward thinking our friends within and outside of Rwanda are proving themselves to be. Thank you for trusting that we will apply the same dedication to enriching the IRCAD Africa Center as we have applied to maximizing the impact of every resource that we have been blessed with as far. Dear guests, every franc raised by Rwanda and friends of Rwanda to improve the welfare of our communities will be honored with a careful, judicious use. But uh, speaking of uh, money, honorable guests, I must uh, challenge you tonight to a generosity contest. Rwanda is, is indeed open to the world and to those that wish for the best for our country. We are open to your expertise. We are open to your resources. We are open to your love for your fellow human. <laughs> there are times with where caution and perhaps even restraint advisable. But uh, this gala, ladies and gentlemen, is none of those. A donation where the saving of lives is concerned is never too generous. Who can truly quantify what the betterment of one life is worth? Who can place a monetary value on the reduction of 13% uh, of the global burden of disease with appropriate minimally invasive surgical training? No amount of money could reflect the value of a mother with chronic back pain regaining the ability to play with her child or a father with heart disease being granted long enough life to see his grandchildren born and thriving. Les bienfaits de cette cause sont inestimables. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, the expert training of our doctors and engineers is a stepping stone to the state of the art medical systems that we are determined to develop. May we make each other proud tonight by reaching IRCAD Africa's desired fundraising number and I dare to hope exceeding it. It's not just that together we can, it is in fact that together we will. Je vous remercie encore une fois et vous souhaite une bonne soirée et à nos amis venus de loin, que votre séjour au Rwanda soit beau et aussi chaleureux que l'affection 
que vous portez pour notre pays. Murakose.